a book titled Fireboat and it was written by Myra Coleman. Before I begin, I would like to ask a question. Have any of you ever gone to New York City or know anything about it? New York City, 1931. Amazing things were happening, big and small. The Empire State Building went up, up, up. Babe Ruth hit his 611th home run in Yankee Stadium. The Tasty Candy Treat Snickers hit the stores. The George Washington Bridge was suspended elegantly across the mighty Hudson River. Do you like bridges? Have you ever been on one? This bridge was actually named after a first president of the United States. Champion Penley Calling a Blarney won Best in Show at the Westminster Kennel Club. On a hot and jazzy night, the word hot shot was invented. And on a sunny first day, the John J. Harvey Fireboat was launched. There were 12 fireboats in New York City. The Harvey was the largest, fastest, and shiniest fireboat of them all. Have you ever been on a boat? It had five diesel engines so it can go 20 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Eight pipes that could shoot 16,000 gallons of water per minute equal to 20 fire trucks, a controlled dial in the pilot's cabin, a completely round steering wheel, many brass nozzles housed in the gold room, a very nice can to oil all squeaks, ropes called linens, and lots of levers, buttons, and buckets. There was a pilot and a crew ready in two minutes to fight the fires. They were a brave group. Who do you consider brave? What makes them so brave? And there was a dog named Smokey, who did not put out the fires, but had many nice spots. The Harvey went up and down the river fighting fires. It fought fires at the bustling piers. The piers are the places where ships and trains bought all manner of merchandise to be sold in the city, like wood and cotton and bananas and bubble gum and everything. It fought the fire of the great ocean line in Normandy. Sometimes the Harvey just went out to shoot water in celebration. A new captain had come on board, Bob Lenny. He and his crew fought many fires, but New York was changing. The Twin Towers were now the tallest buildings in New York City. The piers were closing. This is the Statue of Liberty, and this was very close to the Twin Towers. 1995. The city no longer needed so many fireboats. The Harvey was considered old and useless. It sat in the water for five years, waiting to be sold for scrap. And then a very surprising thing happened. A group of friends were eating at a restaurant called Florence. They had heard about the fireboat and decided something. Let's save the Harvey. Let's buy her. Everyone needs a fireboat. We won't put out fires. We'll just have fun. And they did. They took it to Cadell's ship repair yard in Staten Island. Even there, they said, she is old. It will be hard to fix her. But the owner said fix. So they fixed beautifully. Have you ever been to Staten Island? This is very close to New York City. They repaired the two propellers, making them new with a shiny coat of brass. Brass does not rust. They repaired the holes with steel plates and covered the places where the rivets wept. They scraped barnacles and seaweed off the hull and painted her with a shiny coat of red paint. And once again, the Harvey was on water. Tim, the engineer, keeping things running smoothly, Huntley at the wheel, Jessica, the assistant engineer at the controls in the noisy engine room, Andrew welding, Chase helping, John fixing, Tom cooking, and Bob Lenny watching over everyone, being very proud. Do you see how proud Bob Lenny was? That's because everyone was working together. They made friends with the, other, the only other fireboats on the river, the firefighter and the McKean. Everyone said the Harvey is a nice old boat, but she could never be used to fight a fire. Never. But then on September 11, 2001, something so huge and horrible happened that the whole world shook. It was 8.45 in the morning, another beautiful and sunny day. Two airplanes crashed into the Twin Towers. Crash, crash, crash into these two strong buildings.
The sky filled with fire and smoke. The building exploded and fell down to the ground. Many people were hurt. Many lives were lost. Isn't this so scary and sad? The news spread. The city had been attacked. Everyone was terrified, but people were brave. The entire city sprang into action. Firefighters and police officers and doctors and construction workers and teachers and cooks and children and parents. Isn't it amazing how everyone came together? What made them so brave? The mayor was strong, he said. We will all work together. We will not be broken. What were the people of the Harvey doing when the planes hit? Bob Lenning was trimming hedges. Tom was drinking tea in his kitchen. Chase was walking his dog Raider. Tim was reading the paper. Andrew was welding. Jessica was writing a story. John was working. Huntley was reading David Copperfield. The Harvey was snoozing at the pier. They all had one thought, get to that Harvey, and they did. They called the fire department, John J. Harvey ready to help, how can we help? The answer came, you can't help fight the fire, but you can ferry people to safety. But suddenly an ur urgent message came loud and clear, John J. Harvey, where are you? We need you, we need you. The water pipes were broken and buried, and the fire trucks that had raced the scene could not pump water. The firefighters attached hoses to the Harvey. The Harvey fought the fires alongside the McKean and the firefighter. For four days and nights, the Harvey pumped water. The crew took turns sleeping. People brought supplies, fuel, sweaters, gloves, pizza, sandwiches, and coffee. They worked and cried. They fought the fire until it was under control. Could you imagine doing this for four days and four nights and how hard it must have been? Finally, it was time for the Harvey to go home. Everyone on the boat had never seen anything so terrible, and they had never felt so proud. The Harvey was a hero, and everyone knew it. How was the Harvey a hero? The Harvey won an important award, National Preservation Award, John J. Harvey, for capping a distinguished career of service by coming out of retirement to provide invaluable aid in New York City's hours of need, October 18, 2001. At the ceremony, the audience cheered, and some even cried. Now the Twin Towers are gone, something new will be built. The heroes who die will be remembered forever. The Harvey is back to being a very happy boat. Not scrap, not useless, not forgotten. A proud and plucky friend, and all that's left to say is ha-cha and thank you. It is important to remember that just because something is old and useless does not mean that it can't help. Wait a minute, there's something more to say. The friends of the Harvey have found a little tugboat to adopt. Doesn't everyone need a tugboat? The end.